Hello and welcome to the Ultimate Shaman UI installation demonstration. My name is Cyronius and you're going to be enjoying the Ultimate Shaman UI. To get started, let's open up our World of Warcraft folder and back up our interface. So what we're going to do is going to make a backup folder here and we're going to copy our WTF and interface folders into the folder for later usage in reinstalling our old UI back into our folder. So let's go ahead and do that. We did that now. And make sure we go inside our interface and we're going to delete all of our current add-ons so that we have no add-on conflicts. Alright, let's go ahead and get the UI. We're going to download it from WoW Interface. I've already gone ahead and downloaded it and we're going to be extracting it into a setup folder on the desktop here. I've already done that, so uh, make sure you do it like that. And uh, Inside here we have our fonts interface and WTF. We're going to open up our WTF here and look inside. We have an account name folder, a realm name folder, and a character name folder. We're going to be renaming these to match whatever it is inside your own account character's name. So let's go ahead and find out what these are. If you don't know what they are, we are going to go ahead and open up our WTF folder here. We'll see our account name. Let me resize this really quick. So we have our account name. We're going to name it as our current is, if I can type. Doesn't matter if it's capital, I'm just doing it for the sake of looks. Battlegory, okay, we're going to rename the realm to the current, which is Kilrog for him. Open up that. Character name is Zodal. And there we have it. We're just going to go ahead and go up folder here, and we're going to copy this over to the current folder. Alright, copy this, paste it in here. And we're going to click on yes to all to make sure that we are overriding any previously saved uh, variables and such like that. There you have it. The UI should be installed correctly and let's go ahead and start configuring inside of World of Warcraft. So I'm going to go ahead and open World of Warcraft here and I will show you how to do it. Okay, so right here we have no UI scaling button here. So don't freak out if you can't scale your UI and you're like, what do I do? I can't do it. Um, just make sure that uh, you realize that it's not there right now. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and I will get to our character here. Here it is, Zodal, our elemental shaman. I go to the add-ons here and make sure that everything is enabled, including load of out load out of date add-ons. So everything's checked. We have our load of date, and uh, let's get inside the game. Alright, so we come in and we see uh, pretty much a gumbled m mess here. Let's make sure that we have our UI scale down. I have it already preset, but if you don't, it might look like this. That's kind of scary, right? Uh, it's just because Squeenix is failing and uh, is off the screen. So let's go ahead and drop our UI again. And we're going to enter our command line here. Well, first we're going to turn on DXE to make sure that we have our rate add on profile set. So there it is, DXE is right there. And we're gonna enable the Ultimate Shaman UI with our command line here. Hit enter. Much better. Alright. So from this point, we're going to demonstrate how to set up your power rows because we have. Uh, quite a few different sets that are involved here and um, we don't want to have them conflicting with each other so let's go ahead and type in slash power 
to open up our power auras. Since the shaman is not enhancement, he doesn't have enhancement as a spec, we're going to go ahead and turn off each one of these uh, enhancement power auras by shift left clicking on them. Alright, so now these power auras will never come on unless we're enhancement. So, um, we're going to go ahead and change each one of these on the resto ones so that they're only allowed on the secondary spec, which is his secondary spec. So we uncheck the first spec on each one of these. cooldowns now and um, we're going to do the same but we're going to instead of uh, removing first spec we're going to remove the second spec alright we're finished to save everything, we're just going to close Power Auras, and uh, let's go try this out. I'm actually in Resto Spec right now, I'm going to switch back to Elemental. Alright, so let's go ahead and start a demonstration of our power or see if they're working. And drop all our totems. Now you'll see that I have a add on over here on the left. It's called um it's called Heal Ink. You will disable that in a later video, but it's just uh there for the moment. So let's go ahead and drop our totems and let's see if our power ores are working. Very nice. Alright, so you'll notice on the top right we have a lightning overload spam, and uh, we'll show how to fix that in a later video. But, uh, thank you for watching. If you want to make any changes to your UI, you can always do a command um, afterwards called uh, reflux save, and this will save whatever changes you have. And, um, thank you for watching.